Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. Well, I just got back from uh, Axpona yesterday, and uh, I'm beat. But at the same time, Gaucho showed up, the UHQ or Gaucho. So before opening it, I decided I would listen to an original. I've got, I've got a bunch of originals of this. And, uh, you know, there are actually two original pressings that, that Bob Ludwig cut. There's an MD-1 and an MD-2. I don't know why that happened, but it did happen. There are two different lacquers that he cut. And the MD-1 on the various copies I've got, the MD-1 sounds way better than the MD-2. So you might want to check your original pressing and see whether you have an MD-1 or an MD-2. So, you know, this record came out in 1980, and Becker and Fagan started this in 1978. And I'm sure you know the stories about the erased tracks by an assistant engineer, oops, about the drum machine Wendell, uh, about uh, Becker's, uh, about the lawsuit that Keith Jarrett sued them. I mean, all these stories are known, so there's no point going into that more. But, uh, and this album was different than uh, Asia. Asia, was, I think, was a more sophisticated album in some ways. Um, although some people like this better. It's a great sounding record, and, and there's great tracks on it. So it doesn't matter which one you like better. You know? So that's the original one of this record. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just uh, seven songs, including Time Out of Mind, My Rival, Gaucho. And, and uh, they put one extra song on here because they didn't have a song because half of it got erased. So I'm sure you know all the stories. And I'm not going to go into them. Well, I just did. <laughs> I just did, actually. I'm not going to go into them further. So let's open the UHQR. Right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna open the box. Here it is, very exciting. These boxes are great. I, I, I can't throw these boxes out because they're so cool. I saved them, I have a whole storage space full of these boxes. And there it is, Gaucho. And it takes up a lot of shelf space and blah, blah, blah. And you know, if you don't like the, sh you don't like the box, Put it away someplace and put the record on a shelf because these records come with a really nice jacket design inside. So it's not a big deal. Okay. I've now taken the shrink wrap off. And there it is. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna lower this camera somewhat. Yeah. I'm gonna lower the camera. So, you can see it. Why should you look at my face? Rather, you could look at this. So, it's got the dowel, it's got the whole thing. And I know people, people don't want to, they don't want to get up and turn a record over. But you know what? It's good exercise to do that. So, here's, here's a, a little blurb on quality record pressing. This was pressed, they can only press 20,000 of these. Uh, this was pressed January 2024, so it's had a chance to, uh, to age a little bit, as have we all. Then there's the manual on how to, how to play the record, which I'm sure you all know. And they show uh, this, which has an, unfortunately it has an outdated credit for where I am, but that's okay because uh, when these run out, they'll print more and they'll fix it, I'm sure. And of course, you know, the Asia was, was absolutely fantastic. Let's see what we got in here. You get uh, another more advertising, and then you have this. Very nicely done. They do a very good job with the notes, with, with the artwork and the notes. And uh, Donald Fagan wrote the notes in here. And I'm not gonna read them to you, but there's the tape that was used. Just in case you think it was not a tape, there it is. I know, they got that picture from before the fire. And no, 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 this really is the tape that was that Bernie Grumman used. And it's scotch and it has master disc on it, which is where Bob Ludwig was at this particular point in time. You know, Bob worked at both at Sterling and master disc. And in 1980, he was there. And it looks like, uh, what's good about this is Donald Fagan tells you what the songs are about as opposed to reading some of the you know stuff by other people trying to interpret it. So 
there's also some humor in this, so I'm not I'm not going to read what's on here. You'll have to read it yourself. And it tells you who played what. Let's divide it up. And I'm not going to go into that either. This was recorded at some of the best studios around. I mean, this is recorded at Soundworks New York, A&R Studios New York, which is a Phil Ramone's studio, Sigma Sound in New York, Automated Sound Studios in New York, Village Recorders, and Producers Workshop in Los Angeles. And if you know those names, you could look up Producers Workshop and you'll see who recorded there. A lot of people did. Uh, I, th I think, uh, yeah, um, Bill Chenet talks about Producers Workshop in the interview that I did with him. Anyway, uh, everybody's listed here. And Bernie Grumman mastered. And... Here's the jacket. It's a very nice gatefold laminated jacket. Much nicer than the original, of course. It's a beautiful presentation. And uh, Walter Becker and Donald Fagan did not go in the studio for 20 years. They didn't release a record in 20 years after they released this. And there was a couple of years between this and Asia. So here they are on the Milky White UH Cura vinyl. And we are going to listen to this and let you know what we think. And I'm going to record, I guess I'll do a Babylon Sister. That's pretty much what people want to hear, the first track. I'm going to record that for you and, uh, and put the recording up on the YouTube channel for what that's worth. I think it's worth something. I'm going to put side we're... one on here. I always say... Don't bet against a Bob Ludwig pressing. The original does sound really, really good. I suspect what we're going to hear on this new pressing is better bass. I think there's better bass on that tape. I'm just thinking it because the bass is a little bit underwhelming on this record, on the original. And I think we're going to hear a smoother high frequencies, a little less crunchy sound. And I think we're going to hear uh, certainly... A little more in the dynamic range area, I think. And uh, the cutting system that uh, Bernie has now is really, uh, I think, a phenomenally good sounding cutting system. He's cut some amazing records of late there. So, Babylon Sisters, I'm going to put it on this turntable over here. This is, uh, I'm just about to review this turntable. It's the Wilson Benesh GMT-1 costs uh all right it costs three hundred and seventy one thousand dollars yes it does and the phono preamp that goes with it is the ch precision p10 and that costs another seventy five thousand dollars i know it can feed half of africa but, but look it's the way it is and there's no snake oil involved in this turntable as you'll read in the review this was a very carefully done scientific project, and then you say, "Why? Why would you? Why would you uh, waste that kind of money to spin an old technology, a record that costs a couple of dollars or even one hundred and fifty dollars?" Well, the proof is in the listening, and the proof is the fact that you know vinyl. People love tape. Okay, tape is great, but vinyl is really the most durable if you take care of it. The most durable format. These records, if you put them away, and they don't get burnt up on a fire they will sound as good as they sound now, which is great, a thousand years from now, a hundred years from now. They will. They, they won't really deteriorate. Okay, maybe, maybe not a thousand years from now, but a really, really long time they will last. Okay? So now let's all listen to Babylon Sisters. Okay, now we're going to record uh, Babylon Sisters on this Wilson Benesh GMT-1 turntable. It's their arm, it's their cartridge. It looks like bling, but it's the real deal, actually. So here's the remote that you get with it. So you'll notice it has zero RPM and a bunch of arrows, and uh, you turn it on that way. What's cool about this is you can get back to your seat, you can turn it on, get back to your seat. It, it gets up to speed pretty quickly. It's, you can see it's almost a 45. Bing, there it is. Only when it gets to speed can you lower the arm by pushing this button. Oh. 
How cool is that?
So what did I hear on this UHQR of Gaucho? So the first really great thing about this reissue is it doesn't attempt to remake it into something new that it's not because the original was so good, right? So if they, you know, if Bernie added a lot of bass and tried to make it boomy and tip up the top end to give it some more pizzazz, which it doesn't need. It doesn't need any of those things because Bob's original was so good. But what you will hear at 45 is a much silkier, smoother sound, not in the negative sense of it smoothing over things, but clarifying things. So when the background gals sing Babylon Sisters, it's not all sisters, it's smoother. The cymbals are smoother. All the percussion is smoother. Donald Fagan's voice sounds cleaner, a little more three-dimensional. Um, everything about this is better. Is it hugely better? I mean, it is better. You'll enjoy it more. It's got less of a gritty kind of sound to it. The backgrounds are quieter. The original was pretty good pressing. Th this is just so much better. So, yeah, I think uh, if you love this record and you want to have the final ultimate version of this record and have all of these uh, Steely Dan records, this is definitely worth getting. Is it going to, are you going to start hearing things you never heard before? I don't think so, unless you've gotten a much better turntable since the last time you played it. But you are definitely going to hear all of the details laid out cleanly and against a really black background and a silkier, smooth presentation that makes it a lot uh, easier and more pleasant to listen to over time. So uh, I enjoyed this record. It's another great version, another great reissue from Analog Productions. And I would say if you... If you like this record, you will enjoy this new pressing. And, but if you think it's hugely better than the original, anybody who tells you that is, is being ridiculous. It's just much better in substantial and important ways. Okay, but it's not like a revelation, you know. Okay, that's it. That's Steely Dan's Gaucho on UHQR. It's the definitive version of this record. That's for sure.